AI is used in many areas, but it can only do what standard computers can. However, because quantum computing is getting better, there is a possibility of significantly enhancing the performance of machine learning and AI. So, in today's video, we'll take a look at the possibility of what will happen or what could happen when quantum computing gets mixed with AI. Quantum computers can do things millions of times faster than regular computers. There are predictions that by 2030, the market for quantum computing will be worth $64.98 billion. Big names in the tech world like Microsoft, Google, and Intel are all competing to be the first to make quantum computer tools. But do you know what quantum computing is? Quantum computing is a type of computing that is based on quantum physics. In the past, material was stored as bits that could either be one or zero. Superposition means that qubits can be both 1 and 0 simultaneously. This is used in quantum computing. Many things make quantum computing powerful, and it can do many tasks simultaneously. It's also thought to be the future of AI and data science because of this. What's the difference between classical and quantum computing, though? Classical and quantum computing differ in one significant way. Classical computers only use zeros and ones, while quantum computers use qubits. Since qubits can represent both zeros and ones at the same time, they can do a lot of operations at once. Also, because qubits don't make the same mistakes as classical computers, they make quantum computers more reliable for AI and other complex tasks. This makes them better for use in apps that use artificial intelligence. The goal of quantum computing is to serve and improve the functions of classical computing. Quantum computers are meant to work with classical computers, not replace them, by serving their unique functions like system boosts. They're made to do jobs much more quickly and accurately than regular computers, which gives developers a new tool for specific uses. Now, let's look at some of the applications of quantum computing and artificial intelligence. Number one, taking care of complex issues quickly. Our computers can't handle data sets growing complexity and size, which stresses our computing design. Computers today can't solve complex problems that quantum computing, which is predicted to solve these problems in seconds, can easily handle. Quantum supremacy is the ability of a quantum computer. Google said they did it in 2019, which means that calculations that used to take thousands of years can now be done in just 200 seconds. Number two, taking care of big sets of data. Around 2.5 exabytes of data are created every day. Regular CPUs and GPUs can't handle this much data, but quantum computers are made to quickly find trends and outliers in this massive amount of data. Number three, detecting and combating fraud. Artificial intelligence and quantum computing will be used more in banking and finance, making it easier to spot scams. Models trained on quantum computers would not only be able to see patterns that are hard to see with regular tools, but they would also be able to handle the vast amounts of data these computers could handle. Making progress in algorithms would also help reach this goal. Number four, developing better models. Companies are no longer limited by old computer technologies when they want to look into complicated situations now that the amount of data they have is growing. For these businesses to work, they need to have complex models to look at all possible outcomes. The amount of data that the healthcare business creates is expected to grow by 36% per year, 6% faster than the rates for manufacturing, financial services, logistics, and e-commerce. We might be able to treat illness better, lower the risk of financial collapse, and improve cooperation if we use quantum technology to make better models. Quantum computers are useful for both speeding up DNA sequencing in medicine and correctly predicting traffic volumes in transportation. Scientists think that quantum computing will help us learn more about biology and development, make treatments for diseases like cancer more effective, and help slow down the effects of climate change. Quantum computing is also seen as AI's next big thing. Quantum computers can handle a huge number of options at the same time. This might make AI systems run faster and better, handle bigger data sets, leading to smarter AI models. A recent study by the Boston Consulting Group showed that quantum opportunities in generative, foundational, and horizontal AI could be worth 50 to $100 billion, and they would affect almost every industry. According to BCG, there are more multi-billion dollar possibilities for stopping fraud, money laundering, and using AI in cars. Quantum computers are still very new, though. Quantum computers today only have a certain number of qubits, and keeping them in a coherent quantum state is very difficult, limiting the level of complexity of the calculations that can be done. 
Also, quantum computers aren't just better than regular computers. They need completely different methods. For example, neural networks and other classical machine learning models are taught by changing parameters like weights and biases based on the input data. The goal is to reduce the difference between what the model says will happen and what actually happens. More complex models have millions or billions of parameters and are tuned by a method called gradient descent, which finds the way in which changing the parameters will minimize the difference. On the other hand, it's very hard to measure or guess the variations in a quantum computer, which means that trying to use a classical algorithm on a quantum computer will not work. Instead, new methods are needed. Creating these programs is a difficult job that is still in its early stages, but it looks like it will pay off. It seems that a new machine learning method called reservoir computing uses special quantum properties to do well in classification and prediction tasks. For quantum technology to work, photonic integrated circuits can successfully manage photonic quantum states, or qubits. Physicists from the Hemholtz Zentrum Dresden Rosendorf, TU Dresden, and the Leibniz Institute for Kristallsachtung have made a big step forward in solving this problem. They have demonstrated the controlled creation of single photon emitters in silicon at the nanoscale. In their study published in Nature Communications on December 12, 2022, the scientists said, in the past, attempts to make single photon emitters were hampered by creations that could happen anywhere, which made it hard to scale up. It is very likely that focused ion beams have been used to make individual G and W centers on silicone plates that can be controlled. Also, a scalable implantation process with broad beams that work with complementary metal oxide semiconductor technology has been created to make very precise single telecom emitters at the nanoscale level. Based on this data, it's easy to make photonic quantum processors on a large scale with technology nodes smaller than 100 newton meters. This study shows a clear and useful way to make these kinds of processors. Even with these early problems, quantum computing has a huge amount of promise for AI. Quantum machine learning could sort through bigger sets of data faster, and quantum neural networks could handle data in ways that regular neural networks can't. Existing AI tools are strong and useful for many tasks right now, but quantum computing is a brand new area that can take the field much further. But getting quantum computing to work in the real world is a long and difficult path. It might take a while before quantum computers get stronger and can be used in a lot of AI projects. Until then, we could focus on making the most of the AI tools we already have, while still looking into the exciting prospects of quantum computing. Quantum computing is quickly becoming a more popular and possible tool in many areas. Not much has been said, though, about how this technology will change artificial intelligence in the future. Classical computers take a lot longer to solve decoding problems than quantum computers. Quantum computers can also model big systems and molecules. Quantum computing will be very important for the progress of AI and other future uses as it becomes easier for more people to use. In addition, they can deal with huge amounts of data, which is important for teaching AI models. A lot of different fields are starting to use AI more and more, like retail, manufacturing, medical devices, transportation and logistics, smart cities, utilities, and consumer goods. Just imagine what could be done when combined with quantum computing. All we've said so far sounds promising, but we'd like to know your thoughts on combining quantum computing with artificial intelligence. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos from us. Thanks for watching.